Hey, Frank, disregard. I'm going to try repairing and see if that does it. Okay, well, well there, there were five aircraft there, and there's only four of us. So there should have been an extra one. Well, okay. I did break one. Same. Right behind you, pulling in for LZ patio. Copy that. I couldn't quite get the tailwheel in there. Yeah, all, all of these, you have to take your time and and look around. There may be a space that's a little bit, It's not. it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly where the X, where the spot is. There might be a place that you can put down relatively close by. User joined your channel. Nicely done. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. All right, six lifted again. Hey, Frank, we will need that extra bird. Nathan popped in. Yeah, okay. I'm uh, landing uh, here. Coming up behind you. Six. Funny if that feels stable, that's just because the belly is sitting on the fence. <laughs> yeah. But it was enough for the doors to open everyone could get to get out if they needed to. I want to know what that fence is made out of. That's some strong stuff. No. Yeah, that's the best made Afghan fence in Afghanistan. Okay. Yeah, people consult him from all across the country to make their fences. By the way, what it was my group setting that caused me to have the problem. Oh, okay. Well, just uh, another reminder to put that in the uh, the checklist because uh, it, it screwed me over earlier too. Following the bird heading uh, southwest. Yeah, that's me. Looking for a spot to put down. I got something. And six lifted. Is that flat spot? Flat enough.
I'm gonna check out Dorothy. Crossing above you. Coming. Approaching Dorothy. This is pretty solid. Where Dorothy is, I'm not sure. It's, it feels like it's on a saddle. I was couldn't trust it. I didn't trust it anyway. Pulling into Dorothy from the southwest. Copy. Is 
Did anybody else have any trouble joining? Uh, anyways, um, I don't know about the version 31. I'm going to check now. Yeah, I'm talking with six. Okay. Six on the deck. It's pretty tight with the walls of this canyon down here. Six lifting. Nice job, nice job, right in the road. I traveled a little bit farther than I needed to because I wasn't sure if the canyon got any wider. I'm going to try the same thing. That little flat spot in the road looks real nice. Uh, whoever's 2-1, I'm uh, forming up behind you. All right, five setting to Doris. I'll be right back.
passing over top. Alright, I'm on deck. Lifting. Six is going to Doris. Yeah, I'm going to Irene. Hey, uh, Al's out up north in for Doris. Two clicks out from Bor uh, Doris approaching from the southwest. The, uh, north into the runway. I'm back. Frank, I'm getting an error. It says I can't play or edit this mission. Uh, download content has been deleted. What underscore Aries underscore faction. You gotta make sure you have the uh, Fooknet patch uh, loaded. How far up was that? Or how far ago, long ago was that? Uh, I think it was like the 16th or something. Uh, it's you know, a few pages up, basically. Got it, okay. It's downloading. Being in a bit. Six moving out from uh, Doris to the north uh, west. Breaking right. I'm on the approach. Six inbound to Hester. Hey Frank, do we have refuel at the air, at the uh, landing point? Yeah, we do. Okay, Roger. I'm heading to Hester. I'm uh, four clicks out from Hester, approaching from the uh, northwest. I'm 
I-5 is heading for Hester. Say again? Yeah, coming in from the uh, southwest, uh, three kilometers. I have it. Six setting down at Hester momentarily. I'm off the horse uh, in route to the north and back there. And six on the deck, six lifting. Six breaking right. Five is circling. I see aircraft on approach to Hester. Yep. Uh, two's on deck. Hester. Okay, five has second aircraft circling following. All right, I'm taking off uh, and I'm moving south. Get out of the way. Uh, Bob, that would be your turn now. I've already landed there. Okay, five is uh, behind another aircraft circling left-hand traffic over Hester. Okay, two is off, uh, moving south. I see aircraft ahead uh, south of Hester. Yeah, that would be me. Okay, so the other aircraft circling, I'm not getting them on the radio. Uh, are you sure that's not the uh, UAV? No, it's another 85. You guys not hearing me? No, I, I have you, but... I think oh, Bob. What? I'm not hearing him. Sorry. I'm hearing what on long range. I uh, should be on short range. I have you short range as well. Yeah, I'm on four nine six. Ah, okay. Well, that explains it. Uh, five. You uh, in for Hester now? I'll wait for you. I've already been. It's your uh, your go. All right, my turn. I got all bored, I'm too fast. Alright, I'm I'm going in for Astro now. Alright, I'm in. Alright, I've got the uh I've got the air defense uh, radar uh, on uh, on the screen. I have one just north of this, uh, about nine or ten clicks. Six on the deck, six lifted. Nice job. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm uh, going in for that uh, final approach uh, to landing, 
I'm holding that air brake the entire time. It's nice and smooth uh, and slow. Yeah, that's nothing wrong with that. Oh, I landed with that gear, I'm an idiot. Uh, you get to repair? Who's in route, Doris? Five's ready for pickup, wherever you can make it. Yep, six coming in, gonna put it to the left of your aircraft. You should have a demo block uh, in the kit, in the inventory, along with a clacker. And then that way it'll respawn. All right, stand by. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. Six lifted. I don't have a demo block. Uh, that's all right. Frank, be advised, that didn't have a demo block. Oh, uh, okay. Disregard, then. Uh, that ship is sitting on the LZ if someone wants to take it out. Okay, I think Watt's got some rockets, or some daggers. Uh, negative on this seat. I think it probably won't be on the co-pilot seat, right? I have any uh, access to any weapons. I think I'm on an unarmed. Yeah, we're on the. Uh, we're not on a, a an aircraft with the rockets. I don't think. Okay. I got my radio fixed. All right, we're uh, like uh, eight clicks from the airfield. Yep, that's what I show seven right now. Thankfully, this thing is fast. Yeah, we're cooking. That's who's down at Doris. Frank, confirm the refuel is where the barrels are. Final, gear down. Six is that short final base from the south.
check gear. Gear's down. Nicely done. You are the boss, my man. Uh, happy to assist. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. Six lifting. We still doing free planning or planning to uh, meet back at base? <clears throat> uh, well, what I had in mind was to uh, reset and get everybody back up to a good bird and then do this all over again at night under NVG. Copy that, 6 RTB as well. Well, I've got about 80% fuel in this bird now. Six turn on to final. Yeah, too short. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, move off to the east end, east side. Frank, I think the um, recommendation is that either you or Watt fly with uh, Nathan. He has not flown the M MAV before, and he's got to do some of the control configuration stuff. And I figured one of the two of you is probably better at getting him set up with that. Over. Yeah, Roger. Does he have uh, Nathan, you up on 6-5? Yes. You have the VTOL mod? Uh, if it's in the pack, yes. Uh, actually, it's uh, client side. Um, that that's okay. We'll 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 do without it. Okay. Some nice screenshots, you guys. Yeah, there was a couple of uh, pretty tight LZs there. Uh, yep. Doris, especially. I had that because it was rising on both ends of the uh, uh, the wings there, and then there's some trees and stuff. There's pretty uh, pretty tight area. You're, you're, it looks like you're bleeding there. Still bleeding. 
That's fine. You're going to reset the map in a minute, right? I, I was just going to change the time. Okay. Doris is the uh, canyon road, the windy one. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's the one with the by the T junction, just north of the T junction. Where are you at, Nathan? I'm towards the end where the the other VTOL aircraft's taxiing. I see him down there. Yep, okay. Yeah, Dorothy was definitely the... Uh, I'm coming towards you guys. ...toughest one, but, you know, it's one of those things where once you realize there is enough room, and if you put it down in the center, you're fine. It's just, for the first time, you don't know that. Right. Right. Yep. But now we do. A couple of Fueled trees up. there. I fueled up this bird about 80%. It drained all the fuel barrels. What? There he is. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. It said I, fuel I, source was empty. Uh, I put it, man. Okay. I don't know what happened, but I, I well, could, could put about a thousand liters on that thing. Netting. You have the ones in the cargo netting and have the ones without, and they use the ones without, so I don't know if that made a difference. Uh... Maybe I think that the ones with the netting is what that that I refilled on. Hey, Nathan. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So, um, w when you get into this thing, there's uh, there's a control to tilt the nacelles. Uh, it's a it's via scroll wheel. And uh, I got I think you'll see it when you get in. Um, you obviously need to have uh, the the nacelles uh, vertical. So that you can take off and uh, and get on, but uh, I guess the more important thing is that um, that that's called the vector controlling the vector of the uh, the nacelles. It's either automatic or manual. If you leave it an automatic, that's not a good thing because what ends up happening is that the nacelles kind of have a life of their own and they're they're going to do what they're going to do just when you don't want them to do it. So uh, I would recommend using. Uh, uh, manual uh, vector control, and then you've got an increase and a decrease uh, option in the uh, in the scroll wheel. So, it, and that's why I asked if you had the VTOL mod, because the VTOL mod you basically just uh, map one, one of your stick uh, toggles, and then it'll tilt it forward or, t or tilt it back. You don't have to go through the the uh, uh, scroll wheel kabuki dance to, to try to, to do what you need to do, especially when you're in critical stages of flight, like just after takeoff or you're fixing the land or something. You don't want to be messing with the, with the scroll wheel. You it's actually don't need the scroll wheel even if you don't have that VTOL mod because the uh, auto hover uh, changes the auto vectoring uh, on or off, uh, and the flaps keys will change the nacelle angles. Oh, but only if you have uh, the auto vectoring off. Which, gotcha. means, which means manual, I guess it's manual control. So what is it, X for auto hover? Uh, yes, that's that's the default. Okay. So. And I have my flaps map, so. So and so you can you can play around with that. So so we'll go hop in and we'll 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 play around with the uh, the controls and stuff. Um, you guys ready to turn it dark now? Yeah. Because uh, we we can we can play around flying it in the dark or in under NVG yeah. just as well. That works. Yeah, it will be much different trying to get in some of those LZs with it being like this. Definitely much darker. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Too dark. All right, let's go, uh, Nathan. Let's hop in. Put your eye up. Meredith in the hey guys, Twilight we'll take zone. the the most forward uh, bird. Oh. Right. And what we'll do is we'll go off to the west somewhere and, and, and fly around and practice while you guys um, hit it up with the uh, DLZs. Rog. All right, I'll.
Six spinning up. Six departing to the south. Five's pulling. Recommend we run uh, running lights for now. Three's pulling. Yeah, running lights and slime lights and everything. Yeah, I think you got slime lights. Roger, five has running lights and slime lights on. Okay, uh, slime lights are on. Waiting on you, Al. Off for the west. Five's up. Five's with three. Six is going for Doris. Hey, firm. Six on the deck at uh, LZ Doris. Six departing LZ Doris, Doris uh, to the northwest. Five, it's real hard to maintain a certain airspeed with this aircraft flying a little bit like this. That's the 
it is. I've got it, and I'm kind of all over the place, somewhere between 150 and 120. What are your nacelles at? 45. Six inbound to Dorothy from the east. Okay, I'm going to start the cell and moving my cell. Six on, six on the deck, Elsie Dorothy. Six lifting Elsie Dorothy to the west. Coming up, I'll move off to the south. You're clear. Six moving into orbit around uh, LZ Hester. I see a couple aircraft in the area. That's three and five. Yeah, three is heading off to the south here. Uh, I'll be landing on top of a hill up here to go ahead and set for my next objective. Five is holding. I'm going to try another attempt at Hester. Okay, Roger, I'll stand by. 
Six, you're in front of me. Go ahead and go in first. Six. Six on the deck. Six gonna be lifting to the northwest. Copy. Forgot I left a bird there. Just a little additional challenge. Five on deck, Hester lifting out. Three, I'm hanging out behind you. Okay, I'm going to turn around uh, to the left and uh, head south a little bit, then go for Irene. Five following. Six, same. Three slow for the approach. Five is showing ILS needles. Yeah, there's an airfield right up on top of that ridge line just above our range.
five hit a tree, I gotta reset. Six rolled uncontrollably. I might be uh, on top here in a cell. Three. Okay, let me see if I can get out from under. You're clear. Three lifting, uh, rather six lifting. Five lifting. All right, I'm gonna head for Dorothy. Turns out my rolling was I just had my nacelle angle wrong, so that seems to be the yeah. typical cause. Yeah, we don't have wheel brakes, unfortunately, on this, so you have to have your cells in 90 and half cyclicals for a uh, brake. Six. Five. All right, uh, two eights en route, uh, LZ Dorothy. Sorry, Six, I just gave you a haircut. Not a problem, I actually need one. If three is down, I'll be uh, pulling off and Getting back in the valley, heading south. Six right behind you, waiting to take your spot. Six, check here. Yeah, thanks for that. Five. Six on the deck, six lifting. This is a fantastic aircraft to have a co-pilot in. Five on the deck. Five lifting. And I'm going to circle back around up to the north. Uh, we head for doors. Six. Yeah, I see aircraft lifting off of Dorothy. That's five. I've lost the other two. We're to your west uh, in a different valley. Gotcha on radar.
And two weights on deck, uh, Dorothy. Alright, three's gonna start too long. Five has eyes. And uh, two eight is off of Dorothy and route Irene. Okay, uh, 2 8 is uh, 3 kilometers west of Irene, uh, coming in uh, from the west, uh, now about 2.5 kilometers. Damn it, I wish I had my videos on. That was sweet, guys. Five's on the deck right behind you. I was streaming that. Hey, uh, Frank, I think I'm going to head up for these guys and show up the objective area so that they've got an idea what's going on next week. All right. All right, guys, I'm marking uh, Holly Tom, the objective for an X-ray point. And three's coming up. Six. Two eights on deck at Irene. Fellas, I'm going to uh, counterclockwise circuits around the objective. Six. Five. All right. That's it right there. So the challenge we have is that it's on the high ground, but it's very hard to do any overhead support for these guys. So we're probably going to be... Uh, and they're shooting at us, aren't they? Wouldn't be interesting if they didn't. All right, well, if you guys want to take appropriate action, go right ahead. If you want to manually fire the rockets, but we're not supposed to blow up the town, but given how contrary they're being. Six unarmed. We can kill our running lights anyway. I think they're 
IR. Uh, I think the running lights are visible. Confirm they're visible. Well, crap, they're not supposed to be. Oh well, no worries. Six forty. You're in the cell angle. Is at six at seventy five degrees. All right, we're going the wrong way to shoot the uh, minigun. All right, turn around. I do clockwise traffic. And two eights uh, on deck at Hester. Warned a guy that you, you left the threat set up at uh, the objective. It was rather rude of them to shoot at us like that. Right, let's see if I can do that. Why, you were stuck to Al like you've got a rope on him. This thing's a pleasure to fly. I mean, I need to be reminded of 20 things when I'm about to land, but other than that, I just love it. Alright, fellas, I'm RTV. Six. Five. My butt cheeks are clenched so tight, I don't think I can feel the chair. And I'm gonna go buster.
and two HRTB off Hester. thing is really fun to fly. Three's going to do a midfield break, left hand traffic. And break. Uh, two weights following in the brake pattern. Sorry, six five blue by you. Not a problem. Five on approach. Uh, two H, draw final. 